Welcome back guys to uh, AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 6.1, Basic Geometry, and this is the Great B video. I hope you enjoy it, and let's start. So, this uh, part is just for uh, recalling what you have learned before, and this should be quite straightforward, and I don't mind if you skip this video in particular because it's just going over um, things that you know so yeah let's start talking about uh, areas so there are four uh, well five area equations that you need to know about and um, you can just match them yourself hopefully and I'm going to do it right now. So, this is half base area, uh, well, half of the base distance times the height distance or length, if you like. Um, so that would make a triangle uh, area, which is, well, half base times, ha uh, base times height. What about base times height? We sure know this is for squares and rectangles, but it's also used for parallelograms where um, you can shift the triangle from one side to the other to form a rectangle. Uh, that's the proof for this. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate it right here though. Then pi r squared. As we know, whenever we see pi, it's something to do with a circle or round shape. Pi r square is uh, the classic of a circle area. What about 4 pi r squared? Because uh, it's related to um, circles, uh, well, cone is related to circle as well. So, which is which? So, sphere is um, obviously um, used uh, as because it's curved, you have to have a squared of r to um, calculate the area, while um, the cone slanted part can be unfolded to a flat surface. So actually, if you have a square, you're more likely to be a sphere than a uh, slanted part of a cone. So that is um, basically um, what the areas question will be like used for now, because um, we might be learning more. I'm not sure about that, but... Um, I'm quite certain we'll learn some other um, calculations. And just so you know, the sphere and slanted um, of cone will be on the formula sheet. So um, you can just um, be a bit less uh, stressed about it because you can just check the first page. Uh, it's just behind the cover page of the paper so you can have a look at it um, on the past papers I provided from AQA and yeah let's go over to volumes so classic volumes with normal base area times height a third base area times height and uh, four um, thirds times pi r cubed. Well, let's do things a bit differently. Because we know this is the only equation with pi, it must be something to do with, well, circle again. Which of these have, um, is definitely related to circle? Uh, well, only sphere, because prism can be um, square based as well as a pyramid. So we know for sure this equation relates to that one. Now next, um, one third base area times height. That is a bit um, 
difficult to understand, but there is a proof to it. And by by the time I finish this, I am hoping that I'm going to make a proofing video of um, the, um equations and theories of well theorems of math. So yeah, that might that might come later, but. For now, we know for sure base area times height is definitely a long shaped uh, rectangle or square, which is called a prism. So that should be fine. And that leaves us with uh, a third becomes a pyramid because we know a pyramid is basically um, um, a sharp ended prism. So, yeah. That will be ex uh, explained, hopefully, in another video. So, let's do some proofing. Um, here we have some uh, very classic proof, uh, proofing uh, sentences that I came up with that are quite important. And let's start. First, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I hope by now you'll be able to remember that this is the Pythagoras theorem, which means the square of this side at plus the square of this side will be equal to the square of this side. So um, again, there's a proof to that, and I'm going to explain that. Uh, so yeah, I think that's straightforward. So let's go to alternate angles A, B, parallel, C, D. Whenever you see A, B, parallel, C, D or other lines, parallel and other line, it's definitely something to do with parallel lines. And this is one of the best models to monitor or um, to think about uh, things to do with parallel lines. So alternate angles, what does that mean? So, um, whenever you're doing an alternate angle, you're basically um, combining two angles, not com um, never mind, combining two rules to make it a bit quicker. Uh, or maybe I should start these two first. So, vertical opposite angles equal, this is uh, one of the most basic um, parallel equations. Or they, this is not a parallel equation. Sorry, um, oh, never mind. It's not a proof. Okay, uh, it's not a parallel proof, but it's a proof for angles that um, m for lines that make crosses with each other. It's a bit um difficult to explain like that. So let's draw it out. So here we see a cross, right? So whenever there is a cross, we know that the opposite angles are equal and yet the other side, these two angles are equal. And this is uh, because of vertical opposite angles equal or equal angle, whichever you like. Um, so this rule is for proving those angles are the same. So what about um third enough that corresponding angles? So corresponding angles are like um when you have angles that are like on the parallel lines. So let's say for this uh, not that. Ah, I need to select my pen, and when I select this angle, if it is corresponding angle, it would be equal. What does that mean? So whenever we, well, we know that parallel angle, a uh, uh, parallel lines, are um parallel, of course. So they have the same angle along a straight cut through two of them. So we know that these two angles are the same. This 
these two angles are corresponding angles and they are always equal proving that uh, the parallel lines are indeed parallel so now down to alternate angles the next thing to think about why will it be equal that's the first question the the thing is that they say these two angles are equal at, uh, because they're alternate angles but why a simple explanation of it is that you can do a vertical opposite in vertical opposite angle equal on this cross to form another angle here and now that we know this angle is actually equal to that angle due to corresponding angles so actually these two itself are equal so that would be an explanation to um, the alternate angles well that's a quick proof anyways and now I can get that out of the way and show you angle sum of triangle so here we have a triangle um, sure why not um, so what does that mean is that three angles um, this side I need to select my tool um, sorry guys this angle um, this angle and this angle add together to form uh, 180 degrees this is always true it's always form 180 if it's a triangle um, that is well it's yeah so that's for that angle sum of triangle explanation um, now it's down to base angle equal isosceles triangle and vertical opposite equal angle these two are um, both for isosceles triangles but it's a bit um, difficult to figure it out because one of them might be really um, well they are confusing they conflict each other and because they both of them have angles on it you'll be like um, oh <sighs> never mind uh, that is um wait is that the typo yeah give me a minute let me figure that out yes my bad it's not vertical opposite equal angle it's side opposite equal angle i don't know what i'm doing today anyway uh these two are the isosceles triangle equation um identities kind of proofs and that is um well let's explain it to by drawing an isosceles triangle um let's see let me grab my tools so base angle um equal isosceles triangle is that when you know the sides are equal but you don't know the base um, these are often given uh, given and if not you, you will use this proof um, because these two sides are equal the base angles will be equal uh, coloring blue okay so if these two are equal in red uh, that we know uh, then the angle will be equal if you give this reason the other one is opposite uh, if you know the angles are equal then the sides are equal no I don't know what I'm doing I'm just 
I'm tired, guys. Uh, I messed these two up the other way around, please. Uh, side opposite angle equal uh, or equal angle is when the sides are unknown and the angles are known. And base angle angles equal is when the angles are unknown and the sides are known. I'm very sorry for that and um, yeah I might take a rest really. So yeah that's all the proof that I'm gonna talk about today. Phew. For me that's a long time. 15 minutes uh, or nearly 16 and I made a lot of mistakes that I shouldn't have made and I'm really sorry about that and I think I need a rest so yeah at least you know them already and you don't need to watch this video and if you did watch it then really sorry I am not in the best gear the best version of myself now so yeah that's it for this episode uh, there aren't going to be any questions because it's not suitable obviously and yeah I am going to see you next time when I do the next part and if you learned something uh, please leave me a like comment or subscribe and I'll take my rest and see you next time.